Assalamu alaikum welcome back to the crafty bird i hope you are all doing fine today's tutorial is about this beautiful chandelier so let's get started to make this chandelier you are going to need uh, two rings like this uh, this is 16 inches and uh, here i'm using a uh, old lamp shade and uh, the ring size is 11 inches if you don't have a lamp shade you can use a simple ring like this 11 inches and 16 inches so here i took 180 inches of four cords uh, this is uh, the end points and find the middle point here which is uh, this and start making square knots here and then we will make a hook so this is the middle point and uh, i'm going to take another short strand this is like uh, 80 to 90 inches of strand uh, and we are going to make square knot this is the middle point So now you, you can see that I have this hook, uh, these are the square knots and then by the remaining cords uh, I just made two square knots here and uh, close this hook like this. So here you can see we have this hook and uh, we have these uh, eight cords and I just divided them into four uh, sets and each set have two cords. So take two cords and start making the alternate of half edges. these alternative half edges and now I'm taking the, this ring and like upside down I'm using it upside down this portion is down and uh, using this side up now I'm using double half hitch and uh, start making double half hitch like this one time and then two time so this will make your double half hitch you will attach this string to the ropes by the help of double half hitches keep the frame very balanced and straight So the distance of these alternative half edges is 7 inches, right? And uh, the distance here is 8 inches. So you need to keep this uh, lampshade very straight and balanced and equally distributed distance. So 8 inches this and 7 inches of this. So as you can see, I just added uh, these cords here by the help of reverse lux and knot. Each cord is 180 inches long and then add 17 cords in this 8 inches of distance. 17 cords here and 17 cords here. So I'm adding it like this. This is reverse lux and knot. Each cord is 180 inches long. So like this, we just completed this whole set. 
so each distance we have 17 chords and these two chords are coming from above so in this way E set will have 18 chords and we will make uh, 9 square knots by the help of these now pick the 4 chords like this and start making square knots and make these square knots all around the ring so as you can see I just completed the first row of square knots here now you need to continue the second one so start from here and start making square knots for the second row all around the ring so the second line is completed and now I'm going to make switch square knot like this So now I'm making these uh, switch square knot and then underneath this I'm making uh, this square knot like this to hold them together. So keep making the square knots and switch square knots. like this and we will make this pattern all around the ring so now I have done uh, this square knot then second row and after that I just did this third row and now I'm making square knots with square knots again like this and I will do that for the whole ring So here you can see I just uh, made the switch to a knot and now we are going to create uh, 4 more rows like this. So this is row number 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then we will add 16 inches of ring uh, in this. So here you can see I just uh, completed these 4 rows 1, 2, 3, 4 and now I am uh, attaching this 16 inches ring to this whole structure. So this is the result right now as you can see we have uh, this so far so now you're going to start uh, the design underneath this ring so first I'm going to make uh, square knots like this all around the ring completed now we are going to make uh, this design like this we are going to make three berry knots by picking up the three square knots like this so pick this and make three square knots
one, two, three, and then take the middle two parts and pass through this loop like this. And we got this berry knot. Then pick the two chords, left and right chords, and make a single knot. You can say half square knot. And in this way, this berry knot is secure. Now we are going to make another one. So pick these two chords, two chords from this square knot, two from this, and start making three square knots. So we have two square knots, two guide knots now. Pick two chords from here and two from here and then start making another berry knot. And this way we are going to make three berry knots in a V-shape pattern. So you have to make this design all around the ring. You need to pick three square knots and then start making this. it by a half square knot like this so one two three square knots and three berry knots one two three square knots and three berry knots and similar like this this set this set this set and this and this so pick three three square knots and then start making the design and then we will move forward pick two chords from here and two from here from these two square knots between the two berry knots set and make a square knot keeping it on this level the underneath this berry knot level like this make a square knot and then to make fish square a uh, fish bone pattern you need to pick this and this leaving these two and by taking the two resting cords of this square knot start making another square knot then leave these two just keep holding the resting cords and then pick the two right and left chords and keep doing this until you reach to the last chord we need to use and this is the fifth chord we are going to use five chords from left and right so like this we will make this fishbone pattern and then you can see um, from this final berry knot we are having two resting cords here and two here so we need to pick one resting cord from these and this will be our final knot here never tie these cords so much it will disturb the pattern so keep them relaxed like this now we will uh, do the same pattern here and after doing two patterns we will make another fishbone pattern in the center so let me make this and then we will continue i just completed uh, these two fishbone patterns now pick the uppermost chord from this set and uppermost chord from this set like this and then the second chord and second chord from these both sets like this and 
now make a square knot and we will continue fishbone pattern here in the same way we did above So we just completed uh, the fish moon pattern twice. This is the first row and this is second row. Now uh, we are creating uh, these berry uh, knots again. So how we are creating this? Uh, let's start. So you have to pick these two first cord from this fish moon pattern and these two. And then start making three square knots in a row. And after that we will take the two resting cords oh, basli. so we are making these square knots here three square knots in a row and uh, throughout this project we are making three square knots to make a single berry knot so this is done now pick the two resting cords central two resting cords and pass them through this loop like this and then make a single square knot here, half square knot. Now we have to pick these two and the next two cords from this side. Pull the central two cords again to make thing everything tighter and uh, neat and then start making square knots again. So in this way we will complete uh, this chandelier here. So to finish off uh, this, what we will do, we will take these cords like this, four cords here, four and four these, as they are coming from above and uh, we will just make small wrapping knot here and cut the remaining portion and then we will comb. So we just completed our project today. I hope you love this beautiful chandelier. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Until the next tutorial, please take care of yourself and Khuda Hafiz.